Hello, and welcome to Tech at Light Crash Course. Last episode, I hinted at the possibility of making like a default location for leftover items from the automatic crafting system. And today, we're going to be building one of those because I'm getting really tired of cleaning up the mess that's left over after I request things. So, what we need for this... I mean, you know, normally you'd make a, a pipe for a specific purpose. Uh, like we have the provider pipes, we have the requester pipes... We have the crafting pipes, but there is no default pipe. So how am I going to make this, you ask? Well, there's a special type of logistics pipe called the chassis. Now, the logistics chassis are basically customizable pipes. There are different modules you can insert into each one, and it'll give them different uh, purposes. And there are also different chassis to choose from. The Mark 1 is what we're going to be making today. Uh, basically, it just has one slot for these modules. Uh, Mark II has two, three, three, four, four. Mark V actually has eight, hence why it's so blasted expensive. We're not going to be making one of those today because we really don't need eight slots. So we're going to be making one, so we need a basic pipe. Let me request one of those up. Let's see. Oh, I do have some in the system. So we're requesting a basic pipe. And, oh, I need some redstone too. And this makes everything so much easier. All right. Put that around like that. And we get the logistics chassis, Mark 1. And then what we're also going to be needing... Well, I already have my ender chest here to go with it, but we're just going to be needing that module. So I'm going to look up and find out what that module is and how to make it. Uh, let's see here. These are the modules for the uh, for the chassis. Got blanks. You got uh, item sync. Item sync is what we're going to be making today, I think. Uh, supplier extractor, polymorphic. Polymorphic, I think, is for like tools and things where different tools can have different levels of um, damage or charge or what have you. It'll take all the items of that type. I'm not sure yet. I haven't experimented with it, but it'd be cool if it is. Uh, out, uh, mod base. Nope. 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 I'm not going to go over all of these modules here. Um, might be making some of them a little bit later on. But for now, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to need any of this crap. So, I think we start with a blank. And move on to the item sink. Yeah, blank. More gears. Cactus green. Do I have cactus green? I don't even know. We'll find out. And here's the chipset version, which again, I can't make chipsets yet. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make our blank module. There's paper, redstone, and a gold nugget. Interesting. So, do I have any paper in the system here? Yes. Excellent. Got some paper. Redstone. Was it redstone? Yeah, two redstone. And one nugget. And then see if we have any cactus. Yes, we do have cactus green. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, so for item sync, we're just going to need redstone and an iron gear. Grab that. Make sure everything's accounted for. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. We start crafting. So it's great. I don't even have to move. No more project table for me. Unless I absolutely need it. Which I actually did earlier today. So shush. Oh, I forgot to make. This goes first. No. Like that. This goes up here. These go here. Blank module. Then we take our blank module, put the iron gear on top, and then the other stuff. And then turn it green. One item sync module. So, I'm going to put it down at the end here because it's all part of the uh, part of the network. It'll all communicate together. Plunk that there. Gets power. Super sweet. Plunk you there so that way it'll actually go back into the delivery system because that's what I want it to do. I want to go into the barrels or the chests so I can then request it again and it won't have to craft it if it doesn't need to. 
So, if I grab my wrench. And here is your module slot. Like I said, with the Mark II, there'll be two here, etc., etc. I'm going to take our item sync module, plunk it in there. And see, it's got this little exclamation point next to it. This is a settings dialog. You click on that, brings it into requested items. So if you have, like, specific items going into a chest, which, again, I don't need because I have barrels and a otherwise pneumatic delivery system. Uh, but, yeah, requested items, you can request specific items here. And then there's this default root button. Default root means that anything that's left over in the system will go to this one chest. So, I haven't actually tested this, so I'm going to right now. So, let's say, grab my requester module. And let's just say I need a little bit of cable. Copper cable. But I only need three. The recipe makes six. So, if I'm correct, this will take all the rubber and all the things and make my cables. Ha! It works. So yeah, uh, the uh, the leftover three cables went over here to the default location and got sorted back into the system and should now appear, or should later appear. I don't know. I don't know how far along it is in the uh, in the sorting system. The sorting system does take some time to get stuff to where it's going. Uh, I'll look into ways to maybe accelerate that or maybe make the whole thing one massive system like this, but this stuff's expensive, so I might hold off on that until I start really quarrying the world. <laughs> Alright, so now that our uh, leftover crafting waste is taken care of, make sure this actually did end up in the system, not just full of it. Yep, they did. They're there. So, default root, cool beans. We're going to go and talk about something completely different now. There is another item I hinted at before called, well, actually they called the filler a builder. Uh, I forgot which one I needed, I just called it a builder. But the builder itself is an item that, well, builds. Well, after a little bit of research on the, uh, the wiki and the Tech at Light forums, apparently uh, builders and architect tables are disabled at the moment. So they won't actually work. Mildly infuriating, but also useful information. So, uh, don't bother with those two items. You just have to make your tenement housing the old-fashioned way. That also kind of, you know, screws one of the uh, the ideas I had for building the inside of the factory, but hey, what are you going to do? I just use fillers and stuff. But what I can't Oh, it's just loading. Anyway, what I can do, uh, show you something else fun and interesting that you can do with scaffolds. Grab some scaffolds here. Make a little house. This is what I was going to do with the builder. Oop, don't do that. Do that. Why are you building a house out of scaffolds, you ask? Well, let me finish building this. And you'll find out. So as you can see, we have our little uh, house frame, if you will. Should be just large enough inside for the use of testificates. And probably work as a house for the testificates. I mean, they're not real picky about what it's made out of, as long as it has a front door and a certain amount of space. But then look pretty. And frankly, it won't in a minute either. But I'm going to show you something cool you can do with scaffolds. Anyway, there's a new type of block out of the game by Tech at Light. It's actually been in uh, Tech at Classic as well, called um, Construction Foam. And to make Construction Foam, just need a bit of clay dust, coal dust, water bottle, and redstone. Well, water of some sort and redstone. To make the Construction Foam blocks. To make clay dust, you just take some clay 
and you macerate it. So let me hop down into my new workshop here. Call up some clay balls. I think it's clay balls. Maybe it's clay blocks. I'll call up five of these anyway. Just in case. Grab that. Where's my macerator? I think this is a macerator. That's a macerator. Drop that in there. Not doing anything. So, let me make it a block. There we go. So then this will grind up into clay dust. I'm not sure how much. We'll find out in a moment. So it makes two clay dust for every clay block. Look up that recipe again. So got our materials, so which order did it go in? I'm not even sure it has to go in an order. Let's just throw the stuff in here and see what happens. Yep. So, no particular order required. All of it will make construction foam. A little expensive for my tastes, but you'll see some of the fun stuff it can do. So I'm done here. I'm also going to grab some sand for another part of the demonstration. As soon as it comes through. There we go. So construction foam blocks, you can actually just plonk them down. I see it just looks like a uh, kind of a porous block. It can be uh, knocked out, just like that. Real simple. So if you do make a mistake, you can quickly clear it up. If you want to harden it quickly, it will harden on its own. But if you want to do so quickly, you just right-click. It turns into a much, much harder block. It looks a bit like stone, but I can assure you it's not. Dig it up, you do need, well, we won't dig up, but to break it again, you do need a pick of some sort. It's highly explosion resistant and basically all around very much fun. I'll show you something else it's fun and interesting you can do with it later. You can actually paint the things. Uh, it won't be this episode, maybe next episode. Or maybe once I finally get the uh, factory going, because that's also going to be made of this stuff. Uh, another tool you can use to distribute your construction foam is the construct, is, well, it's called in the game a CF sprayer, construction foam sprayer. And it sprays these pellets that are coming out of my compressor in a moment. Each one of these foam blocks makes a single CF pellet. And you actually get a lot more construction foam out of them doing this. So let's figure out how to make a sprayer. Oop, not strayer, sprayer. So CF sprayer. So we just need cobblestone, stick, more cobblestone. Real cheap, real simple. We're just going to be needing a canning machine to load it up again, too. So, go and order that stuff up here. It was cobble. Four cobble and one stick. Four cobble, one stick. Crafting, clearing that. That goes there, this goes this away, and one CF sprayer. Are these thingamabobs done? Nope. This one. Now, I think I can just toss these in here without too much concern. There's my sprayer. There it is. Uh, maybe I need a minimum amount. Let's see. Maybe that's not it. Maybe it's not the canning machine I need. Try something real quick here. Ah, okay, so we just fill it in the crafting area. Now, if you just put one in, uh, it'll fill it up a tiny little bit. If you surround the thing, though, it'll fill it a lot more. Just take our sprayer here. Uh, we'll grab these others as well. Toss those in there, too. There we go, nice green bar. Now with the sprayer, basically you can uh, just, you know, charge up to any old space. 
right click. That'll give you a blob of construction foam. Which, I mean, I don't want this stuff down here, so we're going to go and get rid of that. So yeah, if you miss with the thing, that's, uh, that's pretty much what'll happen. But if we go up to the surface here... ...to our little scaffold house. What we can do, is when you right-click on scaffold with the sprayer, it fills in the scaffold and gives you the scaffold back. So basically, it's a quick and easy way to make really interesting shaped construction. Hence, construction foam. We're going to fill the rest of this in here, and yeah, see, it gives you scaffolds back, so you're not losing anything. Now, this stuff is permeable. You have to be careful, because you can walk right into it, and you will suffocate. So, let's uh, put more of that up there. I think I got everything. Yeah. Got all of it, and like I said, this will, in fact, yep, there's a bit of it that cured right there. So we'll cure over time. I don't even know how many minutes I'm up to because I wasted so much time with that, uh, that builder. So hey, if you wanted this to cure quickly, again, you just grab a bit of sand. You just right click on the basic blocks with the sand and it cures them up instantly. So if you're in a rush trying to build a wall, sand it up. You can also use these scaffolds in fillers. I actually saw, saw that in a video. That's what I'm going to be doing for my factory here. I think I'd add more lava to my, uh, my thing. It's not mining anymore. And it's slowly becoming a nice mountain of water though. But anywho, uh, yeah, this stuff. You, uh, you, who was I saying? Yeah, you know, you basically, uh, you can put them all in a filler to make a giant wall of just scaffold, and then you take your sprayer and fill it all in. And so you can get more out of the sprayer than you can out of just laying the blocks down. And so that is construction foam. That's some pretty basic stuff right there. Uh, there are some other fun things you can do with it. But I'll save those for another episode, because I think we're pretty well over time now. i got to cut out quite a bit of it. All right, one thing I actually had forgotten to mention in my previous recording. There is what is called a CF backpack, also available. Similar to the jet pack or lap pack, you wear it on your back, obviously. Uh, and like the lap pack, it holds a charge of sorts. Basically, a bunch of CF pellets. This is what gets filled in the canning machine. That's what I was thinking of before. Uh, so we're going to need two more spares. going to need a circuit, a bit of tin, and some fuel cans. I'm going to go ahead and throw those together real quick. Spare number one, spare number two, and there's our CF backpack. Now, just need to make some more pellets and fill our backpack. All right, so we've gone and made a dozen CF pellets. That'll be enough for the demonstration, at least. I also got our generators running because uh, my solar array can't keep up with all this uh, activity. I'm going to be making an upgraded power system once the factory is built. But for now, ooh, this works much more quickly. Basically, it'll take a certain number of CF pellets similar to the jetpack. Probably six, like before. Or it'll just keep on going. I mean, you know, this probably this is actually a lot nicer than the jetpack. Yeah, as you see, it's uh, gradually filling up. Grab some more of these guys out of here. Put that back. As you, this can, this actually can hold a lot of pellets. I mean, uh, gobs and gobs of pellets. Which means you can keep your spray going for a very long time. So 
See, just uh, throw this on your back. Sprayer in your hand. And say you've got, you know, a lot of space to fill, or if you've got tons of scaffolds to fill in, like I will, as soon as I'm ready to go with that. Oh, there's some iron here. I forgot about that. Yeah, say so I want to fill in the gap. Go down here, right click. And you're still stuck into the thing. And as you can see, the sprayer itself will maintain its charge. It doesn't work quite like the, uh... Ooh. I can knock that out again. I need that gap. There we go. Yeah, it won't work uh, quite like the lap pack, as you know, it'll it won't recharge the sprayer every time you use it, but it will allow it to maintain its charge over time. So this will be used, and this will not until this is empty. Then this will be used. Obviously, I will make a uh, production array for that so I can make a bunch of CF pellets, fill a sprayer. So as soon as I start filling in this space up top here for my factory, I'll have plenty of construction foam to fill that in. Cool stuff. I still have to power this. Yeah, I just jumped onto this recording right after it's done my last one, so I didn't have time to refill my Sterling engines with lava. But, yeah, that, uh, that'll be a thing. Talk to you later. Good night.